Um, we're going to go ahead and get to our first question that comes from David. My dad was in a wreck in June of 2019. Since then, his insurance adjuster has been in regular contact with him and some of his bills have not have been paid, but some have not. Now the adjuster has stopped returning his calls. What can I say to convince him that this is suspicious? And should he talk to a lawyer? And again, that question comes from David. Thank you so much, uh, David. Um, Lorelai, um, what's your advice for David? Yeah, I think uh, I think it is to the point now where your dad should consider talking to an attorney. Um, the reason I say that is because the statute of limitations in the state of Mississippi is three years. And so based on the facts that the wreck happened in June of 2019, you're, you're coming up on what, two years now. And so um, it's possible that this adjuster on the other side is just sitting back waiting for that clock uh, to keep ticking and for that time to run out. And so I think he should talk to a lawyer sooner than later. Um, you know, a couple other things to consider are if he has unpaid medical bills, it's possible that they're being reported to the credit bureau. This could be affecting him in other ways that um, haven't really shown themselves yet. And so the sooner you can get an attorney on board that can possibly get a lien on a file from from the uh, medical providers, uh, the better. Um, you know, another thing to also consider that, that we see quite often is insurance adjusters change. They change a lot. And Harry probably sees this all the time, but we might start out with a file and be talking to one person. And then six months later, we call that person's nowhere to be found. And now it's a different person involved. And so it could be something, you know, just a new person involved and your dad hasn't really connected, but I, I would, I would get an attorney to watch that statute of limitations from running out and that would uh, protect you. And one of the things that comes to mind, um, you mentioned uh, uh, waiting for, I mean, it could be a new person involved. Did, would the, what, should this uh, person be notified that there's a new this person handling their case? Yeah. Or, that I, for me to, or for, you know, me, the consumer to follow up? You, you know, in a perfect world, you would expect so, right? You would expect that they would let you know, hey, you know, adjuster Jones is no longer with our insurance company and the new adjuster assigned to your file is adjust, you know, adjuster Jane. Yeah, you would hope so, but it doesn't happen. And it's really common that it doesn't happen. But um, that statute of limitations really is the big thing here. If, if you don't file a lawsuit before that three year time runs out, um, you can never file a claim. And at that point, they can never talk to you again and they would be perfectly within the, the law to ignore you forever, unfortunately. And I would um, imagine when you talk about, you know, uh, when we talk about bad faith on the show um, from time to time, you mentioned the statute of limitations running out and possibly the adjuster just kind of waiting for that time frame to run out. Does that fall up under, I mean, was there any kind of recourse? Um, uh, let, we'll let Harry uh, share um, his thoughts around that. No, I mean, not really in terms of bad faith, um, but Lorelai does make a good point. You know, some people think that because a claim has been set up and an adjuster has been assigned and there's been communication that that is their case and it is not their case. Um, you know, a, a lawsuit, a formal lawsuit, a complaint has to be filed in court. That is what holds the statute of limitations, not the fact that there's a claim and not the fact that you're dealing with someone. And a lot of people don't really understand that. And the other point that was made is, you know, you're going to have medical bills coming in after this length of time. You don't want any problems with any creditors coming after uh, after you. And you certainly don't want someone to try to lean the, you know, put a lien on your case when it comes time to settle. So, you know, I think being June of 2019, you should contact a lawyer. It's not bad faith if they don't advise you that there's a statute coming up that doesn't really qualify for that. That's really something that you need to know about and you need an attorney to file on your behalf timely. All right, so I guess I'm taking away from his question here is to make sure you follow your, you know, follow your case. Just don't leave it up to um, someone to you know, keep you updated. You know, we have that responsibility on our own. 